YouTube, what is up? So, thought we'd do a little video today. Um, I haven't done any real recording with the GoPro in a while. I've been using it as my dedicated webcam for a long time now, doing my live feeds and all that, because, you know, you can put it in the HDMI quality and it's much bigger. So, um, I wanted to try to get this thing back out um, and, and start doing some videos, uh, some recording videos where it's, you know, not a live feed. So just kind of wanted to go over a couple of things, you know, do a, a, a short video. This isn't going to be all that long. Plus, I wanted to play around with some editing on it and stuff. So I'm glad everybody's been enjoying the live feeds um, with the new uh, race series, as I guess we'll call it. RC Trophy Chasers and myself teaming up to try to bring um the world of racing to youtube now granted a lot of other people have done it but we're doing ours a little bit different a little bit more exciting um and so far everybody loves it so we're going to continue on with that a few things i wanted to touch on um you know so we're going to have another interview hopefully coming up soon big shout out chris nelson tnr fuels fuel to the nitro freak channel um, we're still working on getting this stuff tested. Unfortunately, I have not gotten to run any of it yet, and I've got a bunch of it to burn up. Um, we're back to full-on crappy weather and rain. Um, big shout-out to everybody who wished me a happy birthday, by the way. Yesterday was my birthday, another year older, um, and it rained all day. So, good birthday, but... Kind of sucked. Really didn't get to do anything. I was hoping to try to get to burn some fuel on my birthday, but unfortunately, I didn't get to. So, um, you know, hopefully we get a, a warm day or two here coming up. But it looks like the next four days, um, today being Friday, um, we're going to see rain all the way up, you know, for the next four days. So, uh, obviously, ain't getting to burn no fuel this weekend, which really, really sucks. Um, so... Hopefully I'll get to burn some of that TNR fuel soon, and then we can get the interview with Chris Nelson rolling as well. Um, something else I wanted to cover. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me ever since I mentioned it that I was going to put a couple of engines up for sale. So everybody's been asking me what engines am I thinking about selling um, so I haven't completely decided on them all yet, but I do know, um, I will be selling the Novorossi 28, the Truggy, Truggy 28.8, okay, um, because I really don't see a whole big need for the big blocks anymore. Um, so just to give a little bit of background on the engine. This thing is basically a uh, flawless condition. There is nothing wrong with it. In fact, this thing is still practically, it is used, but in excellent condition. It's not beat up. It's not scratched up. Everybody knows I take really well good care of all my stuff. Um, fuel wise, this thing only has about, I want to say, a little over three quarts. It's still under a gallon. Um, I have the original box, all the original paperwork. Um, you know, bought it, broke it in, ran it a few times in a truggy, and then never used it again. Um, but, you know, that happens. But um, that's one of them that I plan on selling. So if anybody's interested in that one, which for the bashers, the point twenty eight seem to be the, the hot ticket for everybody. Um, I'm also going to be letting go of my works B5 uh, Pro 2. Um, brand new engine, brand new pipe. That thing has only been broken in only. Um, so that thing is... Um, I want to say that is roughly two quarts or under two quarts, um, I think. I know it's well under two and a half, um, to be honest. So I'm going to let that go with the brand new pipe. I also will have a second pipe going with it. 
Um, uh, I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the L3, Triton L3. I'm going to get rid of Triton L5. Um, so that's one, two, three, four engines for right now. Um, and I'm possibly thinking of possibly i'm not sure maybe getting rid of one of my alphas and i know a lot of people have been asking well why are you selling your engines and you collect all these engines guys i've just got way too many engines um so i'm keeping the ones that i know that i physically really really like have tested on a track have ran quite a bit and you know have good luck with them um you know, I I, I want to make room for, for other stuff. I'm only selling some of these engines because these are the engines that I do not use. Um, all my engines are in excellent condition. All have been ran on Bones Brew, 3010, top notch, top of the line, great fuel. So, you know, everybody knows I don't abuse my stuff. Uh, probably about the only engine I really, really abuse is the green-headed Alpha. Because <laughs> I know that thing can take a beating. But um, anyways, yeah, so I, I know a lot of you guys have been asking. So if anybody's interested in those engines, um, you know, get with me. We, we, can, we can talk prices. We can, uh, you know, make deals. Um, I'd even be, you know, consider trades for other engines. Um, I'm just, you know... I don't want to use these engines anymore because while they're all basically still have no fuel on them and, and are in flawless condition, I want to keep them that way. Better selling point, you know, than selling used, heavily used ragged out engines. But anyways, um, so we are, we are going to be probably breaking in the Virtus and breaking in the... Novorossi Benito. The only engine, you know, that I've decided that I probably will not use and just keep as a collector's item is the Ayalasi Hummer. Um, just because of the beautiful graphics on, on the head, the head design and all that. But, you know, for a while I was talking, you know, I'm never going to run any more of my Novorossis and all that. And I'm like, you know what? There ain't no point in having all these engines if I ain't going to use them. And the engines that I have, Novorossi-wise, are all great race engines. So we're going to run them. We're going to use them. Um, I really want to get some good weather so I can start getting some run time on this Truggy and use this Novorossi Roma some more. I've gotten to run this thing one time since I've gotten it. Um, so, and I was actually twice and I was very, very impressed with that engine. It is a beast, a beast. Um, and I know a lot of people have asked, as always, no, I'm not going to sell the 3.4 Losi and definitely I'm not getting rid of the Drake engine. Um, you know, this is a true, legit Drake engine verified by Adam Drake himself. Um, you know, I've got the signatures for it, the verification from Adam Drake himself. You know, I've been seeing lately, lately a lot of these engines have been coming up for sale and I'm starting to see videos on YouTube, people out there that thought that they had a, an engine that was used at DNC or Sick Cross or, you know, wherever they were claiming when, when they weren't. Um, I extensively talked with Adam and Rhonda about that a few times and, um, I know the conversation I had with Rhonda, she said, you know, Adam would not have gotten rid of any of his legit race engines um, that he would have used in major races. He collects them all, just like he doesn't get rid of his platforms. He collects them all, stuff like that. But anyways, I've been getting a lot of people that have been asking me if I'd be willing to sell mine, and no, I will not. Um, I've even asked... <laughs> Surprisingly, I've had some really big offers on that engine, and I know if I was to tell people what I've been getting offered for that engine, some people would say, dude, you're a damn fool not to take it, but the reason is why I don't sell that, I know that was owned by Adam himself. It has been verified. It was one of his engines. It is the legit engine, um, and there is no really, to me, uh, you know, I, I talk with Adam and Rhonda a lot. They're two of my most favorite people, and, and there's really no amount of money um, that I would take to let that engine go because you will never see one 
or own one like that again. At least I probably would never get that chance to, so, you know, I'm not going to let it go. But anyways, so yeah, um, want to do a little bit of talking about the, the new series we've been doing. So me and RC Trophy Chasers have started doing this new series talking about race, and I'm glad, I'm really, really glad that everybody's digging it, everybody's loving it. Um, and, and it's basically, like I said, a lot of the, the very experienced guys that have been in the game, been in the hobby a long time, might not benefit from it. But we're doing this series because lately I've been seeing on YouTube, there's a lot of people coming out of, coming out of the bashing world and getting in into the, um, uh, what you call it, the, the, the race world is starting to get on the track. Uh, you know, hey, I, I got to give credit for people trying it. Some of the videos, boy, are pretty damn horrible, but, uh, hey, at least people are getting out and trying it. Um, you know, it's good to see that that, that people are, uh, you know, wanting to go racing. So that, that's kind of why we wanted to start this series. Um, a lot of people wanting to do racing and all that, and, um, you know, they're, they're unfamiliar to racing and what it entails and what to have and stuff. So that's kind of what we're doing with this this new series um, it's basically going to be RC Trophy Chasers. Will MacGyver is the gentleman's name. He's a local North Carolina pro. He's been in the game a long, long time. Knows his stuff. So he is very, very qualified and verified to uh, talk about this stuff and, you know, put truth to, to the words coming out the man's mouth. So basically doing a series trying to help all these the newer guys coming into the game that say, hey, I want to start trying to, you know, hit a track. And what do I need to do? How do I get into racing? And this is all the things that we're going through. We started it the other night, Wednesday. We're going to be doing it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And just picking a different topic. But we're starting from day one. Day one. What happens on the very first day that you decide, hey, I want to pack up my stuff and go to the track. So if you didn't get to watch the first episode that aired Wednesday, definitely go back. Watch it. A lot of great info that the newcomers into the hobby need to know. Um, tonight, if I get this video posted before tonight and y'all see this, we will be doing the unwritten rules of RC racing tonight. And I'm very excited about that one. Being, you know, a racer myself now, coming out of the bashing world, get into, into the racing world, I'm still fairly new at it. And in the short time that I've been in it so far, I, I thoroughly enjoy it and absolutely love it. Um, so I'm looking forward to this episode because I've seen a lot of crazy stuff going on at tracks so far. Um, and, and that's just something you're always going to see. So, um, yeah, you guys definitely want to uh, be prepared for that tonight. Um, you know, in, in, in that series is going to go on and on for for as long as we can take it you know we'll get into setups and this this and that and i'll be throwing in my own knowledge of of what i learned which the reason why we teamed up is it's me the new guy talking with the very you know very seasoned experienced pro driver so you get to get both aspects of the new guy what he thinks and a pro driver what he's experienced over his you know 20 plus years of racing RC on a track. So, um, so far it has been a very, very big hit with everybody. The the overwhelming amount of messages I've gotten, everybody, you know, saying, wow, what a great job. You know, that's an awesome live feed you're doing now. So, um, yeah, you definitely, definitely want to be, uh, Catching up on that and watch it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, so, we will be working on getting the Chris Nelson interview coming. We will be having Adam Drake on the show again. We are still working on Ryan Lutz. And I'm working on a few others right now. So, like I said the other night, there's some new stuff coming to the channel, guys. We're going to have some unboxings to do. There's going to be some new content coming to the channel. Um... The channel's getting better and better. Um, 
So that's a good thing. You know, for a while I was getting bored of it. I almost thought about stopping the whole live YouTube thing and just posting videos, you know, here and there once or twice a week because for a while I was starting to get bored of doing YouTube. Really, nobody in YouTube is doing anything anymore. It's almost like YouTube is almost like died. Nobody's putting out no bashing videos, no run videos, no race videos. Um, there's only a few of us that, that are really doing anything consecutively. Um, EKJ 24,000, myself, D70 Racing is starting to jump into videos, Curtis Baker, um, Hot Hoop D is starting to do some stuff, um, you know, some of the fist scale guys, uh, you know, are continuing on with the fist scale stuff, which, you know, I love watching the fist scale stuff, always have, always will, um, you know, I've been getting a lot of people asking me if I'm going to get a fist scale or do fist scale anytime soon like i said guys don't don't rule it out don't rule it out you know um well nitro freak may, may be doing some fist scale stuff you never know we still got to continue back on with uh building the boat um the outrigger here you know we, we've gotten a little bit done on it here and there i kind of fell off the map with it and all that stuff and, and put it on a hold um, because i have to locate a few parts it's kind of hard because I'm not very skilled um, in tracking down boat parts. Um, some of them can be kind of hard. Uh, you got to have the right measurements for stuff and all that. I mean, I know a little bit about the nitro boats. I've had nitro boats in the past. Um, and I wanted to get back into it. That's why I'm building that outrigger. Um, and you're going to see some other stuff on the channel, you know, surely but slowly. Um, there, there is stuff coming. There is stuff coming. We are going to try to get back into doing some tech videos. Um, you know, I want to talk, you know, talk carburetors and, and engines and, and clutches and, you know, different stuff. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me to do another clutch setup video. So, um, I got a brand new... 8x clutch sitting up in here and we might we might go ahead and, and build another clutch here pretty soon because you know now with the race season i'm playing around with clutch setups more and more um i'm starting to mess around with setups on my platforms um perfecting my skills on those and i'm not a master at any of this never claimed to be and i'm learning just like a lot of the other guys are um so you know one step at a time one step at a time. But, uh, yeah, going to be a bunch of stuff coming up. A bunch of stuff coming up, guys. So I just kind of wanted to throw this little video out here and, and do a little bit of recording, a little bit of talking, since I really haven't done any, you know, videos in a while um, on the, uh, the, the GoPro so, you know, I want to continue on with, with doing some more of these videos and, and playing around with the editing. You know, like I said, we're going to sell off some engines. We're going to have some, some new engines coming. Um, so, you know, I, I'm pretty much to the point now where I, I've got no use for all the big block, you know, point twenty eights. Is that That's what I call a big block, and I call the point twenty ones a small block, even though, you know, it's, it's kind of... Call it, call it what you want, call it what you want, but, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of the engines that I got, I'm not even putting fuel through them, it's just, uh, you know, it's one of them kind of things where I was getting on a engine collecting hiatus in, uh, or spree, I should say, and now I need to take, take a hiatus from it, um, because I've just got engines, you know, I've got freaking you know, engines brand new in the boxes up here, you know, I've, I've got engines just, just kind of laying around everywhere and stuff, it's like, you know, I, I just, I, I've got way too many engines, I think we're up to like 34, 35 engines now, somewhere like that, um, you know, and that's, yeah, I don't know, that's kind of ridiculous to have that many engines, it is, but it isn't, I mean, I'm an engine collector, and I love it, but I'm also to the point where, you know, there's other stuff in the hobby that I want to buy, you know, for this racing season and stuff, so, you know, instead of just keeping a boatload of engines around that I know I'm not going to use anyways, I'd rather, you know, sell them to someone, let them get some enjoyment out of them, and, you know, we roll on with it, you know, 
Go on to the next thing. Go on to the next thing. But anyways, um, we also got to start getting some some tires and rims glued up. So we might do a video on gluing tires, putting the foams in, putting them on rims, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I also have some, I've got a couple 9886 pipes, nearly brand new. If anybody's looking for Nova OC 9886 pipes, 41032 headers. Um, I got a couple of the headers and, and, and pipes and all that stuff. So I know people are always looking for the, uh, you know, 41032s and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got like a 41032 brand new, never even had fuel through it. Squeaky clean. Yeah, I'm probably never going to use them things anymore. I've um, got a couple of used ones, a couple of brand new ones in the packages and stuff. So, you know, stuff like that. If anybody's interested in, in that that big bashing stuff, like, and I know all the big bashers, they like the 41032 headers, the 9886 pipes and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm starting to go through, you know, a lot of my stuff and starting to just get rid of stuff that I've been accumulating that I'm really not going to use. If you guys notice, I'm down to three platforms now. Um... You know, I've sold off all the 4.0 Truggies. You know, I had three of them things at one time. You know, I've, I've sold off three 4.0 Truggies, my RTR Truggy. Um, we sold the, the Muggy not too long ago. The Losi SCTE sold that. We sold the 1.0 Truggy a while back ago that I had. Man, I've had a lot of platforms just in the past seven months that I've let go. Um, you know, that was another thing too. I was just uh, starting to accumulate more platforms and what I needed. Um, you know, we're downsizing because, you know, once, once we get the race trailer, it's only going to be a seven by 14, which, you know, I've got enough stuff here to fill a seven by 14 trailer, um, and then still have some living room in it. So, uh, you know, and because actually what I want to do is once the trailer gets here, this stuff is all going to um, be put in a trailer, and then I want I want my garage back for the muscle car because we're gonna get rolling back on this thing and get this thing back on the track and all that. Um, so actually, what I'm doing right now is so you know a while back ago I was telling y'all um, I was having a trailer custom built. Well, now they're telling me that it's gonna be another six to ten weeks before I, I get it and I'm like that's unacceptable I'm not waiting that long so now um, I basically told them to cancel it or you know they can keep building it but I'm not purchasing it and luckily you know I haven't put a down payment on it or anything like that because they haven't even started it yet so I think I'm just gonna search around till I find one on the lot and just buy one off the lot and then I'll just I'll, I'll just do it up the way I, I want to do it because the plan is I need to have one before P and B okay before the Psycho Nitro Blast, I, I, I want to have a trailer. Uh, we kind of talked about that last night in EKJ, 24,000 live feed. You know, that's another thing too, guys. Those of you guys that plan on going to PNB, get a hold of me. You know, we get a couple of guys bunked together at a hotel, you know, make, make things cheaper on everybody. Um, I sat and thought about it more and more and more and more, and, and I, I am going. Um, I, I am going to go. Um and I hope, you know, some others do too. We'll be talking more about that in the live feeds. And, you know, we got two months to prepare for it, guys. So, you know, we should be able to get a decent little crowd together. I know a lot of people keep talking about they want to go. But, you know, it's easy to say, yeah, I'm going to go this, this, and that. And, you know, and, 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 and talk about it and make it sound cool. And then when the time comes, like, nobody shows up. So, you know, if, if people are going to go, if we're going to go, we're going to do this. Let's plan it, guys. Let's do it. Let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Um, you know, I went last year. It was a blast. Let's continue on with the fun this year. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. That's really all I got. I just kind of wanted to do a, a quick, small video. Um, just do a little bit of talking. Um, I know it's probably not that exciting, but, you know, we will have the live feed to look forward to tonight. So stay tuned for that for sure. Um... We're back down into the, the major rain and flooding and all that stuff. So if the rain goes away anytime soon, um, you know, I, I want to get a video of these beautiful custom badass Nexter level paint jobs out in the sun. 
Um, I put them out in the sun the other day and, and, and didn't get to get it on video. I wished I had, but they shined. They shined. Another big shout out. Big, big shout out to Matthew Bird out of Houston, Texas for hooking me up um, with these one of a kind, true custom painted bodies. Uh, did a fantastic job. And what a better body than Old Glory, the American flag herself, on an RC platform, let alone one that says U.S. Army veteran and the Nitro Freak. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You'll start seeing some more of this stuff too, guys. I promise you that. Um, but anyways, so we're going to go ahead and end this, put it to the rest, and we're going to roll on and, and continue on doing some, some more videos like this and stuff. So definitely, definitely uh, stay tuned, and there will be more to come, guys. As always, until next time, I'm out of here.